Hello princesses! Today I'm only talking about the It's Skin It's Top Professional Touch Finish Correcting Foundation. <laughs> I picked this up for my full face of It's Skin because there weren't that many foundation options for It's Skin. I have tried their baby face BBs, both of them, before and didn't really like them that much. Um, so I thought that this one looked interesting and it also came in a shade that looked pale enough for me. So I have this in the shade 21 and I am wearing it today, obviously not a bad match, right? So the product description says... Foundation High Fit Lasting Plus Concealer Coverage for Flawless Skin Finish. Reapplication gives build-up for elastic, silky skin texture with long-lasting makeup. Artist Touch Pro Master Tip depending on angle. Pro Master Tip from wide areas to curved areas. Giving quick and easy coverage. This foundation has a solid glass bottle and a massive doe foot applicator for its packaging. The doe foot is so hard to pull out of the bottle and it flicks foundation everywhere when it finally does come out. This results in the fluff starting to detach from the applicator because of the sheer firmness of the bottle's inner nozzle. The doe foot barely picks up anything from the bottle, so I have to scoop more foundation out of the bottle maybe four or five times each time I use this. I have the shade 21, which is the lighter of the two shades offered. It is a little bit darker than I prefer, but it is a lovely warm toned shade. It does lean slightly more towards beige or orange than yellow, but it still works well for my skin. Aside from having to re-dip the applicator into the bottle all of the time, the foundation is somewhat easy to apply. It dries down super quickly, so I recommend working in small areas at a time, but it does cover up redness and lighter scarring quite easily. I did not find this formula to be buildable. It didn't give me any more coverage, but it did make my skin look even more textured than normal. The foundation has a very matte finish and does not need to be set with powder unless you want more oil control. It does accentuate the texture of my skin and it clings to dry patches, which isn't ideal, but is generally expected with a matte finish foundation. This is what my skin looks like if I don't set this foundation with powder after 8 hours. It actually has very good longevity and oil control on its own. My nose looks oily, as does my forehead, but the rest of my face looks great and it hasn't worn away more than necessary. I find that my skin looks best if I set my nose and forehead for a little bit more oil control. There are quite a few things that I like about this foundation and quite a few things that I don't. The colour range frankly is disappointing. Two colours is not enough for this day and age and like who are going to fit those two colors. The packaging also really frustrates me with this product. I think that the massive doe foot applicator, while it is very cute, really isn't that practical because it's just so hard to get out of the bottle. So it gets to this point and then it's actually quite difficult to get it out without actually flicking everything everywhere because the inner part of this in here does not, it's too small. So. It's really hard to get it back in as well. You kind of have to like shove it in. The doe foot also doesn't pick up nearly enough foundation. Also because the ring is so tight, it's kind of like pulling the foundation off all of the doe foot applicator aside from that very tip, which has a little curved indent to pick up some of the product, but it's not enough. So you're constantly pushing the thing back in, pulling it out again, putting it back in, pulling it out again, putting it back in, pulling it out again. I do actually like the matte finish for the summer, but in winter I feel like it makes my skin look a little bit dry. It does cling to dry patches on my skin and it does make the texture of my skin, so around my nose where I have bigger pores, a lot more noticeable. But by itself, it does actually have decent oil control and it dries down to a really matte finish without using a powder. But using a powder on top does accentuate the dry patches more, so that's why I didn't powder it for this test. Because it's winter, my skin isn't producing that much oil, so I could actually get away with it. But in summer, I definitely would recommend setting it with powder because on its own, it's not going to control everything. And coupled with the heat of summer and everything like that, it's just probably not going to work that well. This is definitely a foundation that I would recommend for oily skinned princesses. But I would still recommend setting it with a powder if you have oily skin because my skin isn't that oily. So I could get away with it. But... If you have oily skin, you probably are still going to need a powder and a primer, I'm sorry. This is not the best foundation for me, just because I find the packaging so irritating. 
I don't want to reach for it because it just it annoys me even though the color really isn't bad it actually matches pretty well and I'm pretty happy with that um, you guys know or I've probably said this quite a lot that on camera a darker foundation appears to look better on my skin it just does so this is a good foundation for filming but it's just it is so it's so annoying <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this review and I will see you next time bye